guessing She gave everything, she was such a blessing But from day to day, she would change her way Give me her love, then she'd take it away, take it away Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a brand new video. I actually received this in the mail yesterday and I was really excited. So I wanted to do a video on them. This is the new Rimmel London Paint It Matte. And this is the PR package. It actually is a paint bucket. I just have the cap up here, but I took it off. Um, so this is what it looks like. I think it was so cute and I opened it. I was like, why am I getting paint? So it's their new foundations and I think this is like a little pamphlet with the info I'm guessing. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open this up so I can actually give you guys some info on the product because I don't want to just, you know, jump in and just try it on. I do want to do a test video so I'm going to try the foundation all day and then come back at night. It says painted in matte stay stay matte concealer. So there is foundations, concealer, primers, and pow powders and a sponge in here. I'm gonna go ahead and wet that. Also, this is just like to help you find your color, uh, and then the concealer, and that's about it. So there's no information about it. So it's a Rimmel London. I hadn't received a package from them in a while, so I was kind of shocked when I got a package. So this is the full coverage <coughs> mattifying foundation. This is the color 102 Light Buff. They do have, they, so they didn't send me all of them. They just sent me a few. See which color would be my match. So they sent me 102, 202. They sent me 603. And they sent me 501. And I'm going to guess I am 202. This is the color. Where is the Sun Beige. If it's too dark, then I can just add a little bit of the light buff. So I'm going to do that. They also sent a Shine Control Luxe in Makeup Quick Dry Oil Free. This is a setting spray. This is a 2-in-1 primer and setting spray right here. And then they also say send a makeup primer. Mattifying. Stay bad. Shine Controlling. Pore Minimizing. Hydrating Feel. Smooth Skin. Okay. So they also sent this as well. And then they sent four powders. And then we have the concealers in here. You guys can see. So I'm guessing the concealers, they did send all of them. And I'm gonna go with, I need a light shade. So these are, so I'm guessing I'm gonna go more this way. I think I will go with this one. This one is a... What color is this? This is in color vanilla. I guess I'll try vanilla. Put these back. Okay, so I'll try vanilla. See how that goes. Um, I'm going to apply the Rimmel Primer onto my face. I did moisturize already, so... I'm going to go ahead and... It doesn't have a scent and it's actually clear that's coming out. So. And I'm just going to apply this where I have um, pores and all that. So. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and wet my sponge and then I'll be right back to apply the setting spray and then the pro and the foundation all right so i went ahead and i wet my sponge it feels really good it doesn't feel latex because i really hate latex beauty sponges they sell them all over the place and i hate it so this one feels really good and i'm gonna go ahead and apply my well i'm gonna apply some spray actually you know what i'm not going to apply the spray because honestly i wouldn't do that in real life like apply it but i will do it after just to set everything so we'll see how that goes i'm just going to take this off all right oh i dropped it okay so i'm gonna go with sun beige see if that it's a color match for me if not then i'm going to go with the other one and this one is a tube it doesn't have the little pump i'm used to pump so it's um yeah i'll go with this color i like how that looks i have a hair 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply some of this to the back of my hand, and then I'm going to apply it with the sponge. And it looks so pretty. All right, so I'm just gonna go. And it's kind of like a creamy. So it's okay if the color doesn't match. I always can go back and fix it. I can bronze up my face and concealer will help as well, so. Really hope you guys can see what I'm doing. This is supposed to be a full coverage. It's supposed to be a full coverage. And I don't think I need to go probably another layer maybe because I feel like you can still kind of see. So that's what that looks like. I haven't really put another layer here, but I do feel like I need to probably another layer here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more. Cause you guys know I like the coverage on my cheeks, so. Honestly, I'm so used to my foundations that I get worried when I get new products because I'm like, oh my God, if I don't like it, I'm gonna look like crap. So since I'm already on my way out, I'm trying to kind of hurry doing this. So. And to be honest with you guys, I'm not, uh, I don't really like cream foundations. I don't, I've never liked them. And so for me to be Applying this right now is like making me so nervous. Alright, so that's what it looks like now. I'm just going to blend this down. And I don't know if you guys can see, but I got a bruise on my knuckle. I was looking, I'm looking for my camera lens. This is not it, this is another one. I'm looking for the camera lens for my camera. And I can't find it and so I kind of was like crawling from my desk to the back looking for the lens and I felt like I hurt myself my hand but I think nothing of it until this morning when I woke up and I saw it I was like oh crap all right so the concealer that I'm using is the color 120 vanilla let's see if this is a good match I don't like the wand. Maybe because I'm used to the other wands, but you know, the product is coming out good. I'm not having trouble getting product out. I'm just used to the big wand. So I'm just going to apply here, here, and then my nose, and then my forehead. All right, then I'm just going to go back with the same sponge and then just blend everything out. I feel like it just blended in. Okay, doing this side. Okay, then we're doing the nose. The nose is where the makeup usually separates for me. I don't know why. I already tried priming and, and the oil based one and all that and I don't know. I feel like it just my nose doesn't want to be covered up. Alright. 
I feel like every time I pounce the beauty blender into a new spot, it kind of leaves a mark where I was blending. I don't know. All right. So they did send me some powders. And I'm trying to get this opened. Let's see. So they sent me the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. This one is in transparent. Oh, okay. Then we have Sandstorm. This is 004. <clears throat> then they sent Deep Beige. That's more bronzier color. And then a darker shade. This one is Toffee. 25. Okay, so I'm going to use a translucent one for under the eyes. Or maybe everything around my face. I'm just going to use that one because I'm not sure the other one is going to match. Oh my god, Rimmel London, you really... Okay, so I'm going to use this one and I'm going to apply this under the eyes. So I'm just going to use my other sponge because I don't like to apply my sponge wet under the eyes. I feel like it's just... I don't know so I'm just going oh wait I'm gonna go back I'm already creasing and I'm just going to set okay I think that looks really light I don't know how I'm feeling right now, to be honest. I feel like color is peeking through from under eye, my under eyes. Okay. So I set under the eyes. I'm going to set wherever I applied concealer, that's where I'm going to apply the set, the translucent powder. I feel like if I'm going to put this, it's going to be a big mistake all over my face. So I'm definitely not going to do that. <sighs> I mean, they didn't send me any other color other than this one, but I don't know. If you, let me turn. <clears throat> you guys probably can see. This one's a little bit more pinkish. This one's a lot lighter. I thought translucent was supposed to have no color, and this one definitely has color. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. I honestly don't want this to be a fail. Okay. So, I'm using a Morphe brush just to apply the powder to the rest of my face. And I'm using the Sandstorm 004. Hmm, it has a scent to it. I can smell it. It doesn't smell bad. <coughs> Alright. So... I feel like I look like white face, to be honest with you guys. I don't know. I don't know if it's the lighting or my camera, but I feel like it looks like that. All right. So I'm just going to use the darker shade that I got, 025, and I'm going to use this as a bronzer. Probably be a big mistake and ruin the whole thing, but I just want to try it. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a little bit. This one is a 025. Oh, it looks nice though. Let's bring it down. All right. I feel like on camera it still looks really light so maybe when I apply the setting spray it'll fix it I don't know we'll see how that goes um, all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face and then I'll be right back 
um, then I'll apply setting spray in front of the camera and then I'll go about my day and then I'll come back at night and show you guys how it all looks all right so I went ahead and did the rest of my makeup now I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face I think it looks good so far with all the highlighter and the blush and everything so everything looks really good so I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face I shaked it really good I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this All right, so I went ahead and I set my face and I'm gonna go ahead out my day. It is 1.06, so I am actually getting ready to leave to go pick up the kids and I'm gonna go about my business and then I will be back and show you guys how my face held up with the foundation. So yeah, so I'll be back in a few. Hey guys, so I'm back. It is 9.01 and <clears throat> I'm really tired already and this tan change has me feeling all tired so I kind of look like crap but I want to take off my eyelashes already because they're coming off but I'm going to do this off camera so you guys can see because I need to show you guys my makeup so I'm going to grab my mirror what I can see all here my nose under the eyes looks really bad <laughs> and then my mouth I'm gonna say looks really bad like honestly my whole face looks really bad um, but when I put it on I really like how it looked uh, it just looks like it's separating that's what it looks like all my forehead it's separating around my face I mean, here is like, it's not that bad, but I mean, it's, I'm missing makeup and I look crusty. Like literally, I look really bad. <laughs> so this foundation will be a no to me. I feel bad because they sent it to me. I don't know if I did something wrong. I will be trying the foundation again. Um, see how I feel about it. Um, but yeah. So, I'm really, really crusty from here. Like, even my mascara is like all over the place. Um, but all the foundation is like coming off from here. The concealer. And I'm thinking it's maybe the concealer. I honestly, I don't know. I didn't like, I don't know what to say. Because I don't want to be negative. Of course not. Because I really appreciate them sending me stuff. But, I mean, if it didn't work for me, it could work for other people. But I honestly... Like when I put it on, it looked really good. So tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and try the foundation again. I'm just going to try with a different concealer. Because I feel like the problem was a concealer. Because mostly everywhere that it's cracking and looking weird is where I applied concealer. So I'm definitely going to try it with a different concealer. And maybe use the same powders and stuff. It's just the concealer that I'm going to be trying different. Because it just doesn't look right. But yeah, other than that, so ready to take this makeup off. So tired. So yeah, so I want to thank you guys again for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I don't know. I hardly ever do these kind of videos because I don't really want to disappoint anybody. But it, I just wanted to share my thoughts and my experience on it. This is how it looks. I mean, not everything looks bad it's just where i apply the concealer so i think the concealer is a problem <clears throat> so i will be trying it um in another video and then i will put it on the description box of how it how it looks and everything so yeah so i want to thank you guys again for watching stay tuned for more videos you guys i love you guys so much and i will talk to you guys in my next one bye guys